What's, What's good, good y'all? It's, it's the Duma Chef, Saria, and, and we're back, back with another video. video. Who we got today, see? Today we're back with another reaction. So excited about this video. If you're new to us and, and we're new to you, you, make sure you scroll down, hit, hit that subscribe, subscribe button, button, and turn on the post notification bell because we're, we're on, on the road to 50K. And we cannot get there without you guys, all right? Join the family without further ado. Let's get into the video. This is, this seat, tell, I say, you might want to have another look, This seat make you go truth, tell uh -huh. it. No, tell the damn truth. Tell them to tell the truth it, because family is sacred. It's supposed to be. And we don't cross the line with family. Mm -hmm. And people begin to get comfortable to jump on the Monique bandwagon of Monique doing things wrong and she doing this and she doing that. And there's a brother named D.L. Hughley. Yep. And until he take Robert accountability, Hanks. I won't let it go. What? Because... What would you uh -oh. say? I was going to say, what did DL do? Let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, that voice went up, didn't it? DL is friend. He like, that's my friend. No, I, I, I've met DL on several occasions. I don't know DL like that. Okay. Do, I, do I know DL say like I know an earthquake? No. Do I know, uh, since I've interviewed Cat, had several conversations with him, do I know DL on that level? No. Right. See, when we say family is sacred, right. family is sacred. And we know that you don't cross the line when it comes to family. Correct. Right? I do DL's t uh, radio show. Yes. DL Hughley is not there. His team is there. Mm -hmm. And Shannon, we having a great time. I mean, baby, we having a great time. We going forth, back and forth. When we get to the end of the show, they say, <laughs> Monique, you want to play a game? Well, I want to play. I said, sure, sugar. Mm -hmm. Let's play a game. And it's a game called Would You Rather. No. Okay. Uh -oh. One of them. Now, uh -oh. Monique, you already you should have said I'm too old for this game. Wait a minute, we're having fun, baby. <laughs> right? We having a good time, okay. Shannon. Okay. okay. We. I mean, it's the sister there and it's two other guys. We're having a great time. It's okay. a beautiful black unity cookout. Okay. We're having a good time. Okay. Would you say your wife was your family? Is that considered family? Yeah. So your husband is considered family, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Okay. So here we go. They said, Monique, we want to play a game of would you rather. Let's go. Would you rather your husband sleep with Lee Daniels <laughs> with a condom what? What? or Corinne Steffens without one? Bro, that's what a question? question. is that? I thought they was going to say, would you rather go a month without brushing your teeth or a month without washing your butt? Like, that's a would you rather. <laughs> you don't come for nobody, husband. Bro, like, you, that's like under the belt. That's a blow. That's a blow. Like, I didn't... Nah, okay. like, I feel real disrespected. Mm. Yeah, like, <laughs> y'all yeah, yeah. would have to go off air for my response. Oh, man. I wonder what she said, though. Knowing Mon uh, Monique, she probably went off. She too. don't play by her husband. She probably went off. Really, Monique? Now, as y'all are watching right now who haven't heard this story, y'all going, huh? they doing the same thing in the studio. They going, huh? okay. Huh? That is exactly what happened. Now, I said to the team, how does that uplift our community? Hard. I said, sister, and her name is Jasmine, how could you ask another sister that? Well, we just planned, I said, tell me the joke in that because I don't know what you're insinuating. Then you're involving people that have nothing to do with nothing. Like, what are y'all doing? So I said, I'm gonna call my brother. DL, I'm going to call my brother. Mm. I call D.L. Hughley on the phone. I say, hey, baby. Yeah. Huh? That's how he responds. Yeah. Did he know it was you? Yes, he, because they called him to tell him, no, Monique's going to be calling. Right. Like, this, it was getting crazy. Right. This I'm don't like, sound good. on the phone with my brother. This right? don't sound good. Hey, D.L., yeah. I said, listen, I just got off the phone with your team, and they wanted to play this game, Would You Rather? And it was like, Stupid, like asking me about my husband and Lee Daniels and Corinne Steffens and his exact words. Well, that's how we do it. I said, DL, how does that uplift our community? And again, I don't know what y'all trying to insinuate, but brother, what you doing? Like I said, that's just how we do it. So Yo. it is what it is. Yo. Now, it got so ugly that my attorney had to send a cease and desist. So it never aired. So we have, like, wow. when Cat Williams talk and people, truth tellers talk, we have receipts to everything we're saying. 
that's how that whole thing got started. Okay? Mm. Mm. So, mm. I'm sorry, that was a low blow. Like you just there's I I wouldn't find no humor in that at all. You're asking me, would I rather my husband be with another man or be with a woman? Like you're asking me, would I consent to my husband's cheating? What are you really insinuating? Yeah, yeah, like what's like, the like what, what Mm. Nothing's there's no humor in that. A ma a real married woman would not a real married woman will respond the same way. It don't matter who you ask. Yeah, yeah. I like that she said what is how is this uplifting our community though? Cause we always turn each other down in the most jokeable way, but at the end of the day it's something that seriously hit. Yeah. Um it's just for me listening to this conversation, man, it's like it's like playing catch back and forth with a buddy. Like when the conversation is coming to you, just I'm catching all this. How Dia responded, mm -hmm. how the team had a fun moment with her, and then at the very end, the ball dropped. But I'm catching everything that they're saying. It just opens my eyes to see that how different perspective of conversations can be created, yeah. how people can handle you. No, though you thought they was your friend, right? It's like just having an understanding of that, you know. That's one of those things where people would be like, "Oh, you just overreacting." No, we yeah, not overreacting. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, like how do you, how did you want her to respond to that? Oh, I'd rather my husband go with this person without it, or go with this person with it. What? So from the conversation, it sounded like he was in the loop of this. The way well, he responded. They called, him. they called him. I mean, even though he like probably put him on game to it, but at the end of the day, being that y'all know each other, your response was dry yeah. and it wasn't, you know, like I had your back in this at all. It's like that's just how we three do to it. the wolves, three to the wolves. That's just how we do it. What? Yo, family. My husband is my family. Yeah. Now you babies that are really good with this internet through the years, I've watched DL speak ill of me. Through the years. I never mm. knew me, I never knew D.L. Hughley had a problem with me. But when Cass and Ayola group, he forgot to put D.L. Hughley in the group. Mm -hmm. Through the years, I was bitter. I was dangerous with what I was doing, saying that it was inequality. My husband didn't know what he was doing. This went on through the years. I was unloved, all of these things. And I said to myself, I'm going to see you. Mm -mm. I'm going to see you. Nope. I didn't go on nobody's show. I didn't say nothing to nobody, but I knew the time would come that I would see him. We were scheduled to do a show in Los Angeles. I was the headliner of that show. His name was on it, then his name came off. I didn't question it, but I knew I'm going to see him, mm -hmm. right? Eventually. Okay, mm -hmm. now we have a show in Detroit. Contractually, I was the headliner. D.L. Hughley posted a memo. Now, when you signed your deal for the Ravens, did you sign a contract or a memorandum? I signed a contract. You see how you say that? Like anybody that knows good business, you signed... The memo was saying, this is what I would like. Right. But the contract is saying, this is what, what it, it is. is. Okay? Yes. He put out a memo to our community. And that touched me a little different because I was saying, why would you lie to our babies? Because now they're thinking if they send somebody a memo, that's what they're supposed to get. Mm -hmm. Okay? I was contractually signed to go as the headliner. Right. You mean you go last? D.O. Hughley didn't come into the building until 9.30. Now, contractually, I said I have to be on stage by 9.30. Because if the show starts at 8, I refuse to keep an audience waiting. Right. That is disrespectful to the Correct. audience. Correct. When I went out on that stage, Shannon, I made sure everything I said, he heard me. Because now you're here and I'm going to say it to you. Mm -hmm. And I said some things on that stage uh -oh. that I said he was cowardly. And some folks said, how could you say that? How could you do that? And then I posted some things to say, this is what I meant. See, you came after my husband. And when you had a chance to fix it, when you had a chance to say, Mo, my bad. You know, right. we don't even right. get down like that. Right. You told me it is what it is. And until he's brave enough and Dangerous. courageous enough to say this is what really happened, y'all. Y'all have never known me to be no shit starter. Folks ain't never known me to go over One and kick them. a sandwich out of somebody saying it's hungry. But what people do know is if you kick me, damn if I ain't going to kick you back. Right. Because that's fair play. Right. So there was one left out the pack. And when you have people that continually don't take accountability, that's why you see us in the state of affairs we're in. I'm a firm believer, Mo, that everybody don't play the same. 
And someone once told me, what is joke to you is death to someone else. Mm. Mm. What Mouthful. is joke? That's why Mouthful. we don't play with people's families. Mm. No. When we had the Monique show, the radio show. Listen, you can't come on here and speak ill of no one because we don't play like that because we know how this business works. Right. So when you allow that to happen, what do you think is going to come back your way? What do you think? And D.L. Hughley, please, no brother, we still love you. Just take accountability for it. And we move. <sighs> it's like people be opening up the door of consequences to happen in their life. But then when it's time for it to happen, it act like it wasn't supposed to hit them. Mm. I'm confused about that type of mindset. Mm. Because why would you pick on a person, and I'm not speaking directly towards Monique's situation, but right, in general, right. like, why would you attack a person that did not, not expect to get attacked back? It's exactly. like, I don't understand that mindset. You exactly. Know? And, you know, if you're on another channel, you know, we, we get into some, like, some deep, topics that oh, yeah, we'll you know people down. have strong opinions on and we like you know what we're gonna state our opinion creating this platform that's that's our job mm -hmm. you know we're gonna state our opinion but we're never going to people like that you know there's a lot of people on the internet who likes to play those internet games yeah we ain't yeah, yeah. those type of people yeah. if we really got a problem with you we're gonna talk to you mm. Okay, and I feel like in the the topics that we talk about, we could easily get into those those oh, those yeah. wars. So it's like I can't really. I don't know. Just I got offended for this story. Right, you're a wife. I'm a I'm a wife. I ain't gonna let nobody play with my husband like that ever. Yeah, yeah. Forward. <sighs> I remember reading something about the uh, about the situation in Detroit. I didn't know the the depth or the magnitude of it. Uh, I remember reading something about a memo about I guess it's an addendum that was added on, but the contract is the contract. The contract, the contract is the contract. And what happens is because of the messenger, it was easy to pile on. Mm -hmm. It was easy to pile on. And then when you have our some of our black folk that go sit in front of a white man and speak ill of their people, I'm like, y'all, what are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? What what are we That reminds me of and I said it in the Cat Williams interview, but I never told y'all who I was talking about. And I'm still not gonna say y'all. Uh oh. But when we were reacting to a certain comedian, and a certain comedian kept talking about our people, and I'm like, hey, that ain't funny. I ain't about to laugh. And then people in the comment section are like, oh, she don't have a sense of humor. Baby, you ain't ever gonna find me laughing at something that no. I'm I'm never gonna let nobody talk down on my people. My people we got a lot of flaws, yeah. but <laughs> I ain't one of them. Yeah. Mm -mm. It's the shade. You know what I'm saying? Basically. And, and, it's, and they it's have that, truth in it. Uh, how they yeah, really yeah. Feel. It's about how they really feel. And that's what that comes off as. Because when you speak about certain things, you know, when you're on stage and the millions of people are listening to you, the ear takes a whole lot of the information and it kind of rearranged their outlook on life a little. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, it's like like she said, how is this uplifting us in any possible way? Mm -hmm. And I think that's what we need to be in reality. We need to be uplifting each other because right. of the times when if y'all don't understand what we got going on, y'all got to like open your eyes a little. They, but, got, um, they yeah. got powerful people talking about recolonizing. Yeah, yeah. Y'all can laugh at stuff like that if y'all want to. It's all a distraction in the tents. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Just a little bit. Hmm. Coming to that we're going to sit in front of this white man. I can't even say his name. I refuse. Everybody know who he is. We sit in front of him and we just let this man say any and everything about us. And then we go right in with him. That Now, see, that to me is dangerous. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And y'all babies that's good with this little computer, don't take my word. You can just go through the years. The receipts, of this huh? just running his mouth. Mm -hmm. And it's like, stop interviews. doing that because but, what oh, yeah, are yeah. we saying to the babies coming behind us? Right. When I hear Brother D.L. Hughley say, with that Netflix special, I just accepted anything. Whatever they gave me, these are not my words, they're his. Right. Well, that's how you do business. I'm not mad at you accepting anything. Right. Why are you mad at me saying I won't accept anything? Right. That's the difference. Mm -hmm. It's like people were judging me. I was hearing people, Shannon... Okay, I didn't know we had so many tender people in our group. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know we had so many tender <laughs> love. <laughs> I didn't know we had so many tender people, and I I wouldn't want to be on the front line with these tender people. Mm. Where it's like, oh, I can't believe you said that. I can't. But is what I said the truth? Is what <laughs> I said the truth? No, I didn't put no sugar on it. Right. It was shit. 
Right. And I didn't try to make it taste good. That's hard. Ooh. We got to stop running away from what is real. And we run into fantasy. And that's how come we keep staying where we sit. Want to join Club Shay Shay? Damn. Listen. Damn. I, I, man, I'm catching all of that, bro. It's like I'm learning. You know what I'm saying? I'm we are students of life. You know, yes. at the end of the day, regardless of someone else's problem that they got going on, I feel like we can all take value from it. Mm -hmm. And kind of like, you know, remove ourselves from situations because we understood the person's you know, uh, perspective of it, you know? Yeah. Yeah. You just got to be open-minded, and you just can't take somebody's word for something. You got to research things on your own. Yeah, 100%. Yep, yep. All right, y'all. This was a heavy one. This, mm -hmm. <laughs> the place of truth. I wonder who's next. I would like to know. All right, y'all. We hope you guys enjoyed this video with us. Be sure to subscribe. We'll see you soon. Peace. Peace.